We join now by a guy who joined us all year long as the manager of the Cleveland Indians and back with us here again on the postseason here on MLB Home Plate. Eric Wedge is with us. Eric, welcome back to the show with Scott and Buck. All right, guys. How you doing? Okay. We're doing great. Thanks for joining us, Eric. And uh, I guess the uh, Game 1 matchup is uh, pretty close to your heart with CC Sabathia going up against Chris Lee. Nobody knows them better. Give us your breakdown of CC Sabathia when he's rested. And obviously he is well rested now. But um, give us your scouting report on CC and what will make him effective against Philadelphia. Well, I think that, uh, you know, I've heard him say it best. I mean, he just needs to, to stay with himself. I mean, he doesn't need to try to do anything more just to go out there and pitch his game. And, uh, you know, I mean, you know, they both come such a long way, uh, you know, over the past four or five years. And, you know, it's fun to watch them pitch now because uh, it's not really anything, to, uh, you know, to do about, you know, their opponent. It's more to do about themselves. And, you know, with CC, you know, he, uh, you know, he works ahead, stays ahead, you know, and, you know, trusts his fastball and, uh, and then you know, you know, works his change up off that, and you know, in that in that slider, uh, you know, doing what he needs to do with that, both against right-handers and left-handers, uh, you know, he can be dominant. And you know, Cliff relies on fastball a little bit more, but uh, you know, he too developed a great change up, and um, you know, mixes in a you know a, a big breaking ball with the slider as well, and actually more of a cutter. But um, you know, it's just fun to watch him pitch because you you see him out there with the wheels turning and and going out there and competing the way they do. Uh, um, you know, arguably those two can be as good as anybody in the game and are as good as anybody in the game. You know, Eric, uh, I had a chance to talk to Cliff Lee about his approach, and he said he doesn't rely an awful lot on looking at video or scouting reports. He has a sense of feel, and you're being a catcher. What's that mean to you when a guy can go out there and just kind of feel what he needs to do to pitch effectively? Well, I think he has a, a you know a good sense of you know what's going on in the game. And, uh, you know, from pitch to pitch, uh, I think he reads swings. He understands um you know who can get to him and who, you know who he should be able to handle. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, does a pretty good idea. Has a pretty good uh, job of you know missing, uh, you know, the right way. Uh, you know, while he's behind the count and he comes after somebody or, or behind the count and he he just might miss. And uh, I think that that says a lot about uh, you know, again his maturity. So, yeah, you know, I think CC's you know probably, um, you know, a little bit different mindset because you know he can. You know, use that game plan and attack it. But, uh, you know, Cliff and uh, his feel has really come a long way. Talk with Eric Wedge here on baseball this morning. Let me get back to CC for a moment because the Yankees were going on the we're going to use CC Sabathia on short rest in this series situation. And we were talking a little bit, Eric, this morning about the fact that if you wanted to uh, and you were going to set up your rotation for the Yankees, you could go to CC on. One game, one game, four and game seven on three days rest in both shots. Is that the right way? Do you think for Joe Girardi to go? I think it's asking a lot. I mean, I don't, I don't think. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I can't speak for Joe, but uh, I mean, you're asking a lot out of your big guy. I mean, yeah, you know, he can do it. I mean, he's proved that you know he can do it. I mean, especially last year at Milwaukee, with the way they rode him down the stretch. But uh, um, yeah, I think that they've got you know they've got quality pitchers over there. You know, with CC as well. I mean. Uh, I think that if you go in the World Series and you get one of your starting pitchers that you feel strong and you can get two wins out of them, uh, out of one of your guys, I think that's you know that's more than enough. If you push it to three, I guess that's more of an indicator of how you feel about you know some of your other guys than, than it is about CC. Eric, thanks for spending a few minutes with us and uh, taking a look at this series. We appreciate it. All right, guys, take care.